welcome to week 12 of our garden tours. Um, I'm out here fairly early in the morning because I just really wanted to enjoy a cool, crisp garden experience instead of a lot of the summer heat that we've had. Um, it's starting to slowly drop in temperature. I'm very excited to see the highs of 70s next week instead of high 80s. Um, so that's really exciting. I am looking forward to seeing how our garden reacts to that and loves it. Um, a lot of our summer crops are still hanging in there. Mostly just our tomatoes and our basil. Um, sweet potatoes are still trucking along. Uh, but those will be harvested soon. Um, so we have quite a few unripe, like quite a lot unripe tomatoes. So I'm hoping that the season will give those times to come to full ripeness um, so that we can have a little bit more of a bountiful tomato harvest this year. Um, I meant to bring seeds with me to direct sow today, but life happens and I forgot them so I'm a little bummed out because there are definitely things I need to get in the ground but they'll just be a little bit late hopefully I can swing by here um, on another day and get them in really quick before next weekend so today we're just doing some garden chores finishing pulling out some stuff um, kind of just getting things in order the gardens a little crazy right now so Let's get started. So all those peas and radishes that we planted last week are all growing. I am so excited. I love like having a week away from my garden and getting to come here and just seeing all the little sprouts popping up. It makes me so excited for the fall um, and I just can't wait to see them start producing well. And I love bringing more life back into the garden while everything seems like it's dying out.
Okay, I just found something in the garden. I have no idea how I got here. I don't know if I'm happy or upset about it, but I'm just like baffled. So let me show you. So I was pulling up weeds and I was about to yank this up and I noticed that it was vining and then that it had little flowers on it. So I'm assuming this is a morning glory but we don't have any morning glories on this property. So I'm wondering, and look, like it's putting off all these little blooms. I'm wondering if there were seeds in the mulch, but I know that these can see like be just so bad for your garden because they just root themselves and crawl. Like it's going all the way over there and crawl everywhere. So we definitely don't want this, but <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put it up the trellis for a little bit just to let it do its thing and see what happens. But I'm just like stunned. So here's some start of forage flowers that I planted last week, or not last week, a while ago. Um, so I'm excited that those are taking. I just planted a few seeds because I've never planted forage before. And I just wanted to see how it did. Our sweet potatoes really are just a monstrosity right now. I have no clue when I'm gonna harvest them. Um, they look like they're still doing really well and growing, so I'm gonna leave them until it just feels like it's time, but we are excited and hopefully there's something under there. Well, that's really all I have to do out here today. It's just some chores and checking in on it. So thank you for hanging out with me guys today.